Hi, and welcome to my channel. Today I will be crafting with two of the things I got from BB Craft. And I will link their webpage and the items that I got under the video. But like I said in the last video, they have a YouTube program. And if you go to their um, website and you scroll all the way down to the bottom and down here it says YouTube program you click on that and it tells you what the requirements are and you fill this out your YouTube channel how many followers and you leave a message and they'll get back to you on if y'all are a good fit and you order items about $40 worth and they send them to you and you do an opening a video you opening the package and then you got to do an, a week later do another video and I'm a couple days late on doing a video I just a lot going on um, and then another week do another video so I'm gonna do like if I get four items I'll do a video doing two of the items and then a week later the other two items and um, and if it's a good fit for both of you you can keep doing it um, so the first item we're gonna work with so I don't have glue all over my hands when I'm doing this is this and like I said before I make junk journals so I won't be making jewelry out of the beads but what I decided to do with this, I am making a teddy bear book in memory of my daughter, Ashley. And um, so what I wanted to do with some of them was make little dangles for to hang off the side of the page. And I will show you how I did that. So you just take one of these wires that has the nail thing on the end and you just put the beads on there. I have this hold on. And then I take this and I cut this down to about where I think it needs to be. And then I take the round ones and loop it. Just make a little loop on it. And then I put it on one of these. I know my hands don't work very well. And then And then I already punched a hole, and then I used some of these cutouts to stabilize it. And I went ahead and did that to, so it'd be dry by the time I put this on there. And you just click it, and it just hangs off the page. And I made four of them, because this book is going to have four signatures. So, I made four of them, one for each signature. But I think they'll be adorable. So, we got that done. And like I said, I, I love this kit. It's going to be amazing in journals for the little dangles on the side of the page or even in your tassels. I mean, look at all these. And these would be, I mean, just if you make books for kids, these are adorable, and I love them, and 
they will get used in the journals. But they may, I just, I just love that for the side of the page. And here's a purple one. That's the cutest little dangle. And these will be beautiful on tassels. Okay, the next thing I'm going to work, this one will take a little longer. <coughs> so I um, have these placemats. And I got a bunch of them and decided to use them in journals. So what I did was, like I said, it's gonna have four signatures. So I folded four of them down to be book pages, you see? And then this has a flip out, and then I'll, I'm going to sew around the whole edge. So it'll have pockets, and um, I just think they're perfect. So what I wanna do with this is I have these punches and so I'm going to I got the scrap paper so the element that I have to work with this week is scrap paper so I got some scrap paper and I got two layers it cuts easier with two layers and then I'm just going to do a bunch of circles Out of all four, I got all four sets in the same order. This one's hard to... See the little bitty ones. And then I got these two pieces of scrap paper. And we're going to do the same. And they cut really nice and smooth. to the side and see they're they're just different sizes of punches and if you do scrapbooking or junk journal you need circle punches You have to have them. So what I had planned on doing was taking these, let's see, and just, nope, I want that. And I had already cut some out, see. Um, let's see here, just, just for like a border. And then we'll put some little ones up in here. So I will glue them down.
other ones out of the way. And so you can even, um, and see, it doesn't have to be perfect. But you can even make flowers out of these round ones. And I'm going to do that sometime. I haven't ever tried it, but I'm going to do it. And they, the stuff they send you is high quality stuff. I mean, you saw how easy those paper punches punched. See, and I don't want it perfect. I just want like a little border. And then those are all down. And it also helps strengthen the page because these are kind of flimsy. But it help. And then I thought I would like put something behind it and then like the cute little teddy bear on there. And have other stuff around it. But I think that will make an adorable page. And also, for the other ones, let's make sure this is going the right way. I don't, let's see, how do we want to do this one? I'll just, okay, let's put some at the top. Let's try that. Like I said, I don't want them perfect. So if you're thinking about doing this with the BB craft, I highly recommend it. You get good stuff and to make three videos to get, you know, for them, you know, that's not hard to do. So I highly recommend it. At least trying it. See, and I just want them on there. I don't want them perfect. See, and on that one, for those colors, I have like that. And then put other stuff behind it to bring it out. But I, I think these will work out great. And it adds a, it helps stabilize the paper and it adds a lot to the paper. I think it looks great. I mean, you can even throw some of these little ones around the page. To, I think that would be cute. But I'm not going to make y'all sit here and watch me glue all these little ones. When I do my next video, I'll have these two pages done, and I'll show you. Well, I think that would be cool. I know, Mom's in your way. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. My hands have glue on them, so it's hard to get them to listen to me. Yep, I think that's what I will do. I think it adds a lot to it, and they're so little that... doesn't take away from the picture. Yes, I think so. I like it. Um, 
And like I said, let me move these little ones out of the way so they don't get... But I will show you these when they're done next time. My next video next week. But like I said, if you're thinking about doing BB Craft, go to their website. And let's go back. See, it's th this is their website, BB Craft. And you just scroll all the way down to the bottom and click the YouTube program and sign up. You give them the link to your YouTube channel if you ha have 100 subscribers or more. That's the requirement. And like I said, the other requirements are you do an unboxing video a week after you get the stuff. A week later, you do another video of you working with the stuff. And then, a week later, do another video of you working with the stuff. And they send you good stuff. And, I mean, you get to pick. You add it into the shopping cart. You leave it in the shopping cart. They process it and send it to you. And it so you pick the stuff you want. And most of their stuff is like for jewelry and stuff but you can incorporate that into junk journals they do have some book stuff and they do have sales each week of different stuff but like i said you they do have some paper stuff but these beads are used in junk journals oh i should have got them look at that teddy bear wands well, I can always add to the book. I will order them for next time to make um, tassel for the teddy bear book I'm making. Hmm. So, um, I hope you do try them out. And another thing I said in the video before, that if you do sign up and... Um, let me move that out of the way. If you do sign up and um, they send you stuff, then you have to use that email for this program, the YouTube program. If you want to order stuff and pay for it, you have to set up another account because this one, this account would just be for this program. And I really do hope you check them out and you try it. And I will be back in a week working with my Christmas beads. And in here is also some die cuts. So I will be working with this the next time. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you for watching. Bye.